I got to get over here. Hey, Brian, you were telling me the other day there were two types of kind of automotive repair shop owners that you've witnessed out there. And you've probably been both of those at times. Yeah, and sometimes I still am. You know, so if there, there's two that I, Gary's two that I, I always kind of, kind of drive into. And, and the first one I think of the first archetype is the, the guy who I, I call him fear of. And, and it's, you know, it locked in analysis paralysis because everything around him, uh, you know, everything, but it doesn't matter. The employees are going to leave tomorrow. We aren't going to have enough cars. Uh, what, what could be the next thing that walks through the door? What, what problem? And, and, and I, if I, if I jump into the middle of that, how on earth can, you know, they, they might leave or, or they might not pay the bill or, or it's, it's the fear of everything. And, and it's so, so I always say that that guy, he just, he waits for everything to happen. And then he hopes, gosh, I hope. And I, I hope, and I hope. And, and so that's the, I always say that's, that's one archetype of people that I, that I see in the business. Well, and, how, how would you name that guy? What, what would, label would you put on that? I call him fear of. I mean, that's, that's my, that's how, yep. that's who, that's okay. how I see him. I see him as the fear of, and it's the fear of everything, you know, and, fear of. and it's, okay. yeah, fear of, and, and it's, it's the, it's the inability to do instead of an analyze, because it's easy to look and say and, and hope and, and look, but taking the action means you have to commit. The minute you commit, things change. And if you're afraid of it, it's you're just going to sit in and hope. Yeah. And I always liken it to a guy that just gets to the business, unlocks the door, has no plan, just goes there and, and gets caught in the vortex and, and, and fights his way through the day. Okay. Yeah. And at the end of the day, they're worn out and they put the key in the door and go home. That, that to me is an analysis of what you're talking about there. It is. But I think even the guy with a plan, uh, can can end up in this role if he's not willing to step into conflict, because I I think that uh, that's okay. ultimately what what I see in the the analyst you could call him to the fear of the analyst they they lock in so deep to what could and and mm-hmm. if I do then this will happen and and so I I liken it to yes I might have a plan but if I'm not willing to take the action and get into the conflict necessary to make my plan happen. The plan just goes up and the, the execution of the plan when you have to confront something to make it happen. Yeah. 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 People, okay. people, uh, yeah, it takes a lot. So yeah. And then, yeah. and then, and then I always say you have the opposite side of that. The guy who jumps on everything, you know, and, and okay. I might the call reactor. him Mr. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mean. Right. I mean, there's, there's 30 bodies that he just left behind him because yeah. it's, it's going to happen at all costs. And, and then, you know, on top of on top of it happening at all costs, the next piece is it it really doesn't matter what gets in the way. Ultimately, mm-hmm. he's going to do it all. And and I, I, yeah. I look at that that personality and and a lot of times you can be highly effective that way. You can get a lot of things accomplished. But at what cost? You know, what what did it cost you in people? What did it cost you in relationship? What did it cost you in emotional health? You know, because ultimately you're going to get tired. You're you're going to get tired of doing it yeah. all. And at some point you've actually, that ceiling that, that was unlimited has now been brought down to, you know, somewhere, somewhere in this realm. And, you know, so there, I would say two different, two different ways of looking at it. And, you know, I've, I've been on both sides, you know, many, many times. Can, can, can a, can a shop owner go in and out of those all day long? You know, you know, it's sometimes maybe he jumps into this side of the equation, and the next thing happens, he jumps in this side. You know, is it is it evolving or is it more consistent? It's a good question. Um, I would say, you know, the the way I the way I look at that is, I think people have a default position, and then they have a position where they get triggered, and depending on okay. how you how your internal response is, you know, you, you could run into somebody who's just drive, 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 drive. They get triggered. They go into a shell. Um, The other side of it could be, I'm always in my shell. I get triggered and I just go wide open on the other end. And I mean, there's different, there's a, there's a whole different spectrum of how people respond, but, but yeah, you could, you could flip back and forth and well, you want to talk about confuse the crew. I I can't imagine um, what kind of eggshells, 
every person who works around somebody in that realm would be like. Yeah. And I actually shouldn't yeah. say that I can. I, I lived it. You know, I, I did. I operated that way at one point. So it's a, it's yeah, a, yeah. a very dicey place to be. I love this topic, but I want to kind of draw this to an end here. And there's something common, folks, in September. And this is something we call a fireside talk. And Brian is going to be there talking about his experiences in owning and running an automotive shop. He's done all these things. He'd probably jump back in there and do it again. Uh, because sometimes we just kind of go back to what we know instead of what we ought to be doing. So tune in. We'll give you the dates in September. Please put it on your calendar and we'll get you in this, what we call Fireside Talk with Brian Kelly. A real shop owner doing real situations with real business. Hope to see you at those, at those fireside, excuse me, those fireside talk.